Getting along with family is tough. It's like running a business, but you don't get to choose your partners. Our family is really special. I know everyone says that, but us, well, we used to be called drug dealers. My father was a hardworking man without a work permit. With the help of a few questionable men, he bought a farm in the remote city of Twin Falls, Idaho. Soon enough, he was joined by people like him, illegals and outsiders, and the business grew big enough to expand. We went to Hollywood, not for the spotlights, but its shadows. We fed its underbelly with our products shipped from Idaho. With weed being illegal everywhere, my father had to get inventive. He set up smuggling routes and came up with all sorts of elaborate means of moving the product so his men didn't end up in jail. Unfortunately, they did, more often than not. At least he kept Mom and I safe while he was alive. With Mom continuing his legacy, the business didn't suffer, unlike our family relations. But with legalization, both fronts took a huge hit. After LA turned into a den of hipsters, we started to struggle. We had to compete with a whole new market backed up by innovators and technology. The clientele turned more sophisticated. They knew what they wanted, and honestly, we weren't ready. To top it off, our competition was no longer persuaded by arguments of force. It was a new breed of enemy. Armed with management degrees, marketing budgets, marching with law on their side. When the heat waves struck the West Coast, they were better equipped to handle it. My mother thought that the only way to survive is to endure, sticking to the old ways. I was ready to embrace change, while she kept reminding me of father's legacy. We were not only competing in the market, but fighting each other too. I gambled with everything that was left, including the remains of maternal love and forced her to stand back. I just couldn't stand seeing all those opportunities go to waste. Yes, including the legal market, while my mother was blindly following father's legacy. She thought he left us with a set of rules. But I knew he built all of it on the foundation of his creativity and intuition. His true legacy was being willing to evolve, both as a business and a family.